What's up guys, it's Nick D, the Southern C10. Welcome back guys, it's been quite a while I would say, man. Uh, we, man, we're, we're, you know, we're a long way from where we used to be. Uh, bag, 400 small block, automatic transmission now, runs pretty good. Uh, but, like everybody, everybody wants to go LS, so that's now my goal is to go LS. So, we, uh, I bought this block a couple weeks ago, tore it down completely now. Uh, goals to go through it right now. Since I've already torn it down, I've already got bearings. I want to check the bearing clearance because if the bearing clearance is bad, oh, what do we do? The bearing clearance is bad, then we're gonna, uh, I don't know, we're gonna send it to the machine shop. So hopefully that all the bearing clearances are good. So go right now to check all those. Uh, that's all good. Then we'll start, we'll re ring it, get everything clean, start putting the whole bottom end back in. My little workbench here with all my pistons and everything up here we're throwing this cam away we're going away with the stock cam uh, we're gonna use the stock pistons though uh, like I said new bearings new rings on all the pistons uh, and then we'll work our way up from there we'll probably don't want to spoil it yet I'm trying to really spoil it but uh, we'll put a little bit bigger cam in there but I don't know exactly what we're gonna do yet the goal really in the long run is to you know make some boost to this thing so uh, but for now, we just want to make sure the block's good and we can do something with it. So I'm going to go ahead and start checking these, uh, the clearance of some of these uh, bearings for these rods. And we'll see how those are. If those look good, then like I said, we'll go into step two sooner or later. All right, so kind of already started messing with the first, I guess they call them rod journals. Come on, camera. All right. Kind of cleaned it up a little bit. These are what they've actually looked like. They have a oil line on the center of them, I'm trying to get them cleaned up where we can see a reflection in them. But you have some thousand grit wet dry sandpaper in there. Gonna slap that on there and clean it up a little bit more and then we'll go ahead from there and we'll put our uh, one of our rods on and then we'll do the whole testing with the uh, plastic gauge and whatnot. Alright so the shoelace method they used to kind of polish these bearings and the crank journals and whatnot. Wet dry sandpaper and a shoestring pull back and forth and it spins it and it starts to polish whatever you want to say cut clean crank itself so we're doing that right now let's see how shiny it gets in a sec all right as you can tell here we kind of clean it up a little bit it's got some shine to it again maybe not quite mirrored we could probably do some more cleaning on there but I mean it looks a lot better than what we had before yeah, I'll say a little mirror to it too. Maybe some more polishing on this one, but we wanted to get all the lines out of it, make sure there's no grooves or whatnot, so it actually feels pretty good. I'll probably do it one more time. Let's do it one more time and take a look at it. Alright, that looks a little bit better. Turn this over with some light. As you can see here. Come on. Yeah, as you can see now, see how shiny that is compared to these older ones. So, I'm going to do them all like that, but I want to go ahead and put a uh, go ahead and put a rod on there and test the bearing clearance on that real quick. And then, uh, like I said, work the rest of them. So I'm not going to show you the, all of them I'm going to do. I'm just going to do one more camera, kind of show you how to go about it. And then from there on, you just kind of do each one from there. So uh, let's get the second rod uh yeah piston in and whatnot and then we'll work from there and i'll show you how to check the bearing clearance all right so for right now i don't have a uh i don't have a uh piston little cup to slide the pistons in so i'm taking off all these rings i'm gonna replace them all anyway so i'm just pulling all these off so it makes it a little bit easier to slide the piston in uh you'd be wise to keep one of them or a couple of these later on because when you go to check your gap when you go to check your ring gap later on these help out big time when you slide the ring in there and slide the piston in so maybe keep a couple of these bigger rings all right so we'll say be careful with this step because since there's no rings it makes it a little bit easier for this piston to want to slide out so if it slides out it will hit the ground be careful what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a piece of plastic gauge, 
run it over the center here, put a bearing down. Let's see if I can get this in the right spot. Show. Piece of plastic gauge. You want to cut you a piece across. What I like to do is. Take you a little piece, I don't know if you can see that or not. Stick it over, just like that. All right, Oop. just like, come on, damn it. This motherfucker, I swear. All right, so there's your plastic gauge. We're just gonna put a bearing on top of that, and then we're gonna torque them down spec. So what we want to do is we're going to tighten these all the way down. All right. Got a torque wrench here. We're going to torque these down to 15 pounds. Go ahead and tighten these down to the click. Boom, one and two. Double check, never hurts. All right, so now take this little sucker here. This is a uh, torque to angle, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to take that, go ahead and put your bit on the end, okay? Now what you want to do here is you kind of want to stick this somewhere where it's going to catch and not move, not allow it to move, okay? And what you want to do is you want to turn your, you should be able to turn the whole thing, but what you want to do is you want to zero yourself out. And then you want to torque this 85 degrees. So you just, here we go, 85. Seventy, eighty-five. That's one. Now for the other one, you go ahead and turn that back to Spin this backwards to zero. I'm gonna do the same with the other one. Put it on somewhere where you're not worried about scratching your crank on the edge right here. All right. Do the same thing. 85 degrees. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Cool. Now that that's done, go ahead and remove. Cap. Like there's tight on there. I don't know why they don't just tell you to put it at like 50 or 60 pounds. These are the suckers are tight, tight. All right, go ahead and pull these off. All right. Now we'll pull the cap off, and you'll see on both your cap. Let's get this piston out first. These things look like they got a pretty good clearance on. So. Alright, so you see a little Smush mark here. There's also one inside your barren top of that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this and use the inch aside. We're gonna measure 
uh, so anywhere from like 10 or a thousandths of an inch to 30 thousandths or three thousandths of an inch yeah that's where you want to be so pretty much anywhere in here we look at this we're about 15 between 15 and let's see here Squish side yeah we're right around we're a little under one so we're a little under 15 so we're probably like between 10 and 15 thousandths bearing clearance which is actually really good uh stock is like nine to 20 maybe i forget exactly what stock is but it's not bad at all so i kind of have a feeling all these are going to be kind of like that they should all be pretty well you know clearance pretty well so that's kind of a, what i'm hoping for uh saving a lot of money not having to replace the crank or having to get any work done on the crank so we're gonna go ahead and clean this up exactly did before clean it off be done with that uh but yeah that's awesome that you know hopefully all these look just like that if that's the case then we'll be in really good shape uh but uh i guess that's it for now i'm gonna finish this up there's no point in making you watch all this but i'm gonna finish this up you know get it all cleaned up get all the the uh, raw journals clean and everything and finish this sucker off but uh thanks guys for watching man uh i'm gonna keep you posted on this you build this is a pretty awesome for me i've never messed with ls at all so this is new uh like i said we do want to do a boosted ls in the old school truck so that's gonna be amazing uh but yeah if you like what you see guys subscribe hit that uh, like button man leave a comment down below i'll i'll give you whatever i know i don't know a whole lot but i'll give you whatever i know guys appreciate it, guys peace out